Can you reduce the size of a prostate with dietary changes? None that I'm aware of. Uh, prostate reduction uh, can be accomplished with uh, you know, different interventions, laser treatments, TERPs, things like that. And then the medications that will shrink the prostate are different forms of hormone treatment that block testosterone. The uh, mildest ones are Proscar and Avidart. And then the, uh, so you go up the list of stronger medicines like Casidex and Lupron. Uh, all of those things will reduce the size of the prostate. There's a misconception that all urinary problems uh, seem to originate from, or uh, it's believed that they originate from, from the size of the prostate. And, and that's only true in a minority of cases. A lot of urinary problems are related to the uh, uh, fact that as we get older, the bladder wall gets more irritable. Uh, and prostatitis, other things that can cause urinary symptoms are unrelated to how big the gland is. Sometimes a large prostate does create urinary problems. Uh, large prostates can present a challenge for certain treatments like uh, radiation therapy. So men that have big prostates are probably better candidates for focal therapy because you can put a little bigger margin around the tumor without destroying the whole gland. Uh, so there are even advantages to having big prostates, but uh, the capacity to shrink the prostate uh, with medications uh, is, uh, uh, you know, really confined to things like Proscar and Avidart. I'm not aware of diet having any impact at all. Why does Tamsulosin cause nasal congestion, and is this a long-lasting side effect? The way that tamsulosin works, it's an alpha blocker. It relaxes the muscles in the uh, urethra and allows a uh, more open and free um, flow of urination from the bladder th through the prostate and out the penis. The, um, these same medicines can cause relaxation of the uh, muscles in the walls of the ar arteries in the uh, nasal area causing uh, greater blood flow, and which is just um, basically activates the glands that are up there that create uh, mucus. And uh, it's reversible when the flow max is stopped. It's not a common problem. Uh, well, it is one of the more common problems, but it doesn't occur that commonly with flow max. It's an uh, issue that occurs with all the alpha blockers, such as uh, uroxetrol and, and uh, uh, rapaflow, other other products of this genre. And uh, it is uh, sometimes irritating enough that people can't take the medication, but most people don't have a problem like that, and it is reversible when the medicine is stopped. So we have a patient who's 57 years old. His PSA 18 months ago was 178, and his Gleason score, uh, according to the pathology, was 3 plus 4. And so he took Zytiga, the PSA went down to 0 0.01, and he wants to know, Erlita has now been available in his country, and so he wants to know if he could switch from Erlita or Zytiga to Erlita in order to get rid of the side effects of prednisone that he's taking with the Zytiga. He certainly can, and we generally believe that the Erlita and Zytiga are more or less interchangeable in terms of their anti-cancer efficacy. Erlita doesn't require prednisone, and so that may be advantageous for some patients. The dosage of prednisone for Zytiga patients is relatively small, and it's usually well tolerated. Uh, there has been some suggestion that the dose can be safely reduced from 10 milligrams a day to 5 milligrams a day, which would reduce any potential side effects to some degree. Uh, there are some studies showing that you can change out the prednisone for a uh, potassium-sparing diuretic called Inspra, uh, otherwise known as a plerinone as a generic name for that, to keep the mineral balances in appropriate uh, control uh, and allow you to get rid of the prednisone altogether. So there are other workarounds, but it's perfectly reasonable also to consider using the Erlita rather than uh, the Zytiga. Uh, if people have been on prednisone, they have to be tapered off. Uh, you can stop the Zytiga in a day, but prednisone uh, can create a dependency. And if the adrenal glands stop making cortisone when, uh, during the prednisone therapy, stopping the prednisone suddenly can cause an uh, um, uh, deficiency of cortisone in the system, which can manifest as very severe tiredness. Uh, so there is a whole pro forma for tapering prednisone when people finally get around to stopping it. 
Hey everybody, it's me, Alex, and our mascot here, Hunter. He's obviously licking my hands because we have lots of treats for him today. But yeah, we just wanted to let you know to go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We come out with new prostate cancer videos every week. And go ahead and check him out on Instagram at Sir Hunter the Dow. Also, check out our website, pcri.org, for more information about prostate cancer. We hope it helps.